And in this video, I wanted to talk about the capacitor. What can go wrong with a capacitor on a motor? We know that when you have a motor, like this for example, inside of this motor, you're going to have the two windings because this is going to be a single phase motor. Now, we have the run winding and we have the start winding. We know that, let's say for example, L1 is gonna feed power to the common connection. And then let's say for example, L2 is gonna feed it to the run connection. Something else that's gonna happen is, we could say that the same line that feeds the run winding is gonna feed my capacitor. My capacitor is going to feed my start winding. So here's my capacitor. Manufacturer says that this happens to be a 370 VAC capacitor and let's say 7.5 microfarad capacitor. Now we have three electrical problems. We have an open, we have a short, and we have ground. Well, if you have an open, it's just like not having a capacitor at all. The capacitor will open up internally, so this motor is gonna lock up, it's not gonna rotate, and that's all that's gonna happen. We can go in, give the fan a spin, and it's gonna take off. But we still have to check the capacitor, make sure that it is open. On a, let's say a short, what happens with a short? What happens is just like having a jumper across here, which means that it's like not having a capacitor in line. When that happens is this motor is also gonna lock up and it's not gonna rotate. So again, we have to take the capacitor off and test the capacitor. When we have a ground, what happens with a ground? Well, with a ground, typically what's gonna end up happening is that this component right here that's supposed to be in line is gonna open up. That's your circuit breaker. Circuit breaker is gonna trip because the power is going straight to ground. Now, how are you gonna check this capacitor? You're gonna check it with a capacitor tester. One of the things that you have to make sure that you do is you turn power off, discharge the capacitor. Once you discharge the capacitor, you can remove the wires and check to see what the microfarads are. Because if let's say on this one, you're getting five microfarads instead of the seven and a half, the capacitor is weak. Because it is weak, that shows a partial open. Now, you need to replace that capacitor because that capacitor is gonna fail. When you do your PMs, this is something else that you need to do. Check the capacitors, see what the microfarads are, and if they don't match what it's rated for, then you know you need to replace it. So again, a capacitor can have an open, short, or a ground. With an open, the motor's not gonna rotate. With a short, the motor's not gonna rotate either, and with a ground, it's gonna probably trip the breaker. But don't forget, check the capacitance and see what that is. Now, I hope this helped. My name's Julio, Aircon Academy. Please follow me on Facebook, subscribe to my channel on YouTube. If you have any suggestions, please let me know what they are, and I'll see if I can do a video for you. Thank you.